Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and I've got some treasures and some jewelry to share with you today and everything is for sale. Um, I do have, I, if you're interested in anything that I show you here, um, just email me jandapanda at comcast.net and if you see anything you like, do a screenshot or a timestamp and email me and I will get back to you. Uh, I usually put things in the pinned comments that may be sold, but that kind of can get, you know, um, if I can't, if I don't keep up on it, it, you know, it doesn't get updated. So I do try and update that as much as I can. And, um, but uh, either way, just email me. I can tell you if it's sold or not, but I'm giving out prices right now. And I do want to thank everyone who joined me in my first buy it now it was on my birthday Friday the 29th that was so cool and yeah there are some issues with um, you know trying to manipulate things and you know but once you get it going and get it started then it's all um, just great I mean I had great people in my chat and was able to sell a few things, but I just thought the chat was great. It was wonderful, you know. I'm, you know, thank you all. Thanks all for coming. I appreciate it. And thank you, Dana, for offering to moderate. I thought that was very sweet. You just, you know, said, make me a moderator. And I did. And she did. So that was good. That was good. Anyway, thank you all. Um... I have been cleaning out my garage and I've got like boxes of little littles. And um, so I, I just wanted to go ahead and put these out there if anybody's interested, you know, um, just email me, jandapanda at comcast.net. Date of the video, it's in the title. My email's in the title. Um, let's see, do a screenshot, timestamp, or you can just say, you know, what the item is and I'll know about it but the, you know sometimes uh, they're different to, you know there might be similar items you know like green necklace <laughs> it always helps if you give me a timestamp or a screenshot either one and or anyway it is Saturday it's getting to be the evening and we're in I'm in Northern California so the uh, weather is really fluctuating it's warmer earlier I can feel it's getting cooler now but um and yeah they had a big uh, rival football game here I just live a couple of blocks away from the, the uh, high school so you know the kids are speeding up and down the street anyway so back to this Halloween's tomorrow everyone that's kind of exciting uh, there have been days, especially on weekends, um, in uh, on October 31st, Halloween, that we could get up to 2,000 kids because we live really close to downtown, and it's a a street that is highly trafficked. And um, there's a lot of people who live rural, and then they they come down by the carloads and trick or treat, which is fun. I you know we make it we make we make it work you know because usually especially on a uh, Sunday night schools tomorrow of course a lot of schools aren't open tomorrow because of Halloween because the kids just eat all the candy and then they're uncontrollable the next day but um anyway um so we usually shut down about you know eight o'clock you know lights go out um and this may be the first year we're not decorating because uh, we had a big flood last last weekend so anyway enough of that i've been chatting too much i do have now this is this is an, an unusual piece here i don't normally sell these things um you know everybody's you know got their watches and on their iphones and yeah you know you can always tell what time it is just by a tap but this is kind of cool because I think this was a, like a collectible. This just kind of popped off. It's the little um, cover that goes over the glass to keep it from moving. But this is a Linden um, timepiece. This is heavy. 
I mean, it is clunky heavy. Let me get you a weight on just the piece itself. Um, because, um, okay, it's at zero. Let's see how much this little, little chunker weighs. It's at almost 6.8 ounces. So that's pretty heavy in jewelry terms. You know, uh, it may not be heavy in other terms, but in jewelry terms, this is heavy. Anyway, so, um, but it's a cute little basket. It does say how to work it, and it does say change of battery. Battery should be changed by a professional service or personnel only. Only use this particular, you know, it does need a battery. And um, since I am not a professional, <laughs> I am not going to change it. So, um, anyway, this is just super cute. It's called Linden. It's got like a little soft bottom here, so you can put it on your desk. Just a cute, cute clock. It's a clock, actually. It really is. Um, you can set it up like that if you want. It doesn't, it, which doesn't make sense, but um, it's definitely a collectible. It's probably, um, there might have been a series of these. So it is Linden. It comes in a Linden box. It says Linden there. I have no worries that it's going to work because, you know, um, it's just never been used. So all it needs is somebody to put the um, battery in it, and then it comes with the warranty information, whatever that's worth. Uh, um, anyway, so but what's cool about this, which I love, 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 I didn't bring my little square, but we can measure it with this. My square's here somewhere. I don't know. I've been cleaning up and moving stuff around. So it's two, it's one and a quarter by probably from basket, yeah, maybe one and a half um, from here to here and from here to here. So let's do that. It almost looks like two inches. It's almost, it's one and a half by, you know, maybe an inch and a quarter. So, no, no, Zoe, no, no. She just, no. She just took a piece of paper out of the trash, little ding dong. Anyway, so this opens up like this. And then look what's inside. It's your whole picnic. It's really cool. Just a cool little piece. And this is $10. So you can just email me, say, I want the Linden little clock, the little clock. And I am going to see if I can get that piece of paper away from my dog. Yep, she just left a mess. Okay. It wasn't hard. And it comes with all of this stuff. And if you are interested, where's the little, oh, there's a little plastic piece that goes over this. It just, with time, it probably just popped off. It's, anyway, so there we go, in a nice velvet box. $10, it's heavy. Um, I also have these tin types, and I don't know if anybody here, you, a few of you probably actually, um, have gone on a tour once upon a time when you were kids and saw how they set type for um, uh, newspapers. Well, that's what these are. These are little graphics. And there's some dirt in here. Get that out. Yeah. These are tin types. Not tin type. I don't. These are typeset. This is of a telephone, heavy um, lead, I'm assuming. And I was looking for a pencil to see if I can get a relief on that particular one. The one I can't tell what it is. It's probably telephone related and my dog just took something else. Oh my gosh. Zoe, <laughs> she's screaming for attention. So let's see if we can do something with this little, these are $5 each, and they're probably about an inch by a half inch. But let me see if I can get this to show through. 
because that's how you do it if you want to see what it is. I don't know if I can. I probably should be using a pencil. It might be a telephone. You just have to keep at it. Get to the edges. Yeah, you kind of need to... I don't know if anybody can tell what that is. But anyway, these are these are five dollars each. And this one's a telephone. I don't know if you can probably see that. And you can probably see it better this way. I can't tell what that is. Hmm. I think that's a telephone handset right there. So it has to be telephone related, and I think my dog is in trouble. I'll be right back. Yeah, she stole a roll of ta uh, packing tape, so that's nice. Anyway, so uh, I leave the door open for her because she'll normally come in here and just lay down, but she wants to steal stuff. Anyway, so these are $5 each. Simple. Okay, then I have these McCoy pictures. Let's see if I can get that stuff off of there. These are little cream pitchers. These are super cute. And uh, let me get my cleaner. Maybe clean this off and then you can see it on the with a back, black background. It'll show up. Is that gonna come off? It does, it just wipes right off. It says McCoy USA on the bottom of each of them. These are five dollars each. But they are in excellent condition just really pretty aren't those cute if anybody has a white on white kitchen or white accents in their kitchen and they just want you know something to put a couple of little posies in there or just actually use them so they're about three inches high by about four inches wide but yeah five dollars each on these cute little mccoys there you go love it and I do have a Sony radio that works this I think I had for ten dollars and shipping's five dollars in the US Remember that lightning complex fire in the San Cruz and uh, this, this is great just to have in your go bag or something or it's a Sony transistor So yeah, it works really good. So yeah, this is this is ten dollars. I'm gonna turn it off. And I think it's just AM, which is important. All right, let's see. This is kind of a three inches by three and a half inches. So and it's got like a little carry strap to it. Does require a battery. And I'll just leave it the way it is. You take it out, you fire it up, dial it in. So yeah, that's $10 for the Sony. And then over here, I have these tucked away in a box. These are so cool. It's gonna do $15 on the set. And I think all you need to do is, you know, just get some false eyelashes and you can probably put now, another whisker there just needs to be glued on there if that's what appeals to you. But they're uh, Japan, salt and pepper. They have the plugs and they have the little holes. And they're just so adorable. There's no chip, uh, even on the McCoy, there's no chips, cracks. These look like they've been hand painted. And their size. This one's taller than the other, and its eyes are open. 
cute little rhinestones. I don't even think these have ever been used for salt and pepper. Let's shake them. Um, I see a, a couple little specks come out. Maybe they have, it's hard to tell. So this one at its height is six inches. And then at its deepest width is two, well, maybe a little more than two inches. Okay, let's not do too much here. And this little one, it's about five inches. So yeah, as a set, $15. And you can just email me, I want the little kitty cat uh, salt and pepper shakers. I have them in a box, but I will wrap them up better than this because they do not need to clink and clink. And then shipping starts at $5. But yeah, pretty cool. Salt and pepper shakers intact. And I think that might be all the weird stuff I have right now. By weird, I mean it's not jewelry. Now, let's look at some jewelry. I got this because it's nice and quiet. You don't hear the clinking and the clanking. And I can, you know, display some rings here or do different things. This is an egg timer with a telephone. And of course it works. It's a three minute timer made in Hong Kong, but it's cool because it's lucite with the sand and uh, with the telephone because, you know, um, back in the back in the day, they had toll charges. And if you go over a certain time limit, they started charging you very much like with data usage nowadays. But if you went over, you'd, you'd have to know, you know, this way you knew when to end a phone call if you were on the phone in your own home so gotta go <laughs> anyway so yeah three minute timer five dollars this is a belt buckle oh did i measure that i didn't measure that it's really cool i just like the loose sight and they put the the stuff in there so it's about three and a quarter high by an inch and a quarter wide and it's depth is uh, maybe three quarters I thought it was cool very, very nice nice little piece this is a pinup girl on a phone I don't know if that's meant to be Marilyn Monroe or what um, starlet might be on there but she's on a phone um, it's a belt buckle. This is five dollars. It is three and a quarter by one, two inches ish. And there you go. Five dollar belt buckle. Not bad. It doesn't look old. It looks unused. This is a lovely vintage uh, necklace. It's got these um, these kind of, I'm going to test them for stone. I don't think this will test for anything of note. Oh, wait a minute. It's in the quartz amethyst. Oh, it could be, could be garnet. So yeah, this is real stone, real stone, real gold tone. <laughs> and then look at the, um, the clasp here. So pretty. Love that. Yeah, this is 10. And the drop. It reminds me of a, a Metropolitan Museum of Art piece that I have, which I think is so beautiful. You'll probably see in an upcoming event. But this is uh, 13 inches. It's really pretty, over the head, really nice. And they do have some uh, room here for the beads to move, because you don't want them too tight, otherwise they'll, it's like they'll break. So, that's nice. Okay, doggy, you're in trouble. No, 
she just snuck right up and just took paper off my tray. You brat. Leave it. No. I really can't get too mad at her because she's just bored and I'm ignoring her. Ah, ah. No, no, no. Lay down. Lay down. All right, now I have some really cute earrings here. These are marked, I believe. Are they? Are they marked? Yes. Carol Lee. So these kitties, I mean, they're not even an inch. Little buttons, clip-ons. Yeah, they're about an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch. Yeah, but these are $5. Every time I sell earrings, they're going to be about $5. Otherwise, they're going in the earring bag. But those are Carol Lee. Cute gray ones. Pearlized. Silver tone. Carol Lee. Really nice. $5. This is a 1928 brooch. This one's going to be 5 It's really cute. Got the 1928 swirls on the back. It's about an inch and a half by three quarters of an inch. It's not huge. Not huge at all. It's just real pretty. It's got the 1928 swirls on the back. All right, now let's get into these brooches. I was just in a uh, telephone collecting phase. And these are candlestick telephones. This one actually has a chain accent on it. And I do believe all the stones are there. there this is kind of an autumn, fall tone, gold tone. There's no maker's mark. Just really cool. So this would be $5. And the size. Two inches by about an inch and three quarters. So yeah, nice cool candlestick with a little accent chain, really nice. This is another candlestick. This one is uh, also $5. It's a brooch and that does not, is not a mark. What is under it? Yep. Oh, it's got a couple, couple of dots. I'm um, not sure what to make of that, but um, this one is also um, intact with, you know, there's no stones missing. And it's got pearls down the candlestick and around the base and around the, what they call the bullhorn or the, anyway. So there's that one. And, you know, I don't see any metal missing. But um, yeah, that's pretty cute. So $5. I'm just on a $5 roll here. These guys are Monet's. And I guess there was a phase of mesh. Mesh metals being used in um, jewelry. Just a real pretty piece. And Monet had these, like, you know, um, backings that, you know, didn't snap shut. They just adjusted to however far you wanted it, and then it stopped. It's almost like it's anti-lock brakes <laughs> for cars. But anyway, these are really pretty little Monet wreaths. And let me get you a size. Yeah, they're $5. Oh, the rest of the stuff's $5. That is about an inch round, and from top to bottom, it's about an inch and a quarter. Well, maybe inch and a sixteenth or an eighth. I don't know. Let's say inch by inch. Let's go for those again. Make sure they work. But yeah, Monet has some had some innovative ideas about how jewelry should work, and I think it says Monet down there too. Let me look. 
doesn't say anything. It looked like it did, but it didn't. But it definitely says Monet on the back because that's they probably copyrighted that um, or patented that particular uh, closure. These do not have a maker's mark, but they're stunning. They are prong set, large, enormo rhinestone earrings. And I'll pull the cool ones out too, just, you know, because they're cool. Look at those babies. Those beautiful sparklers. Yeah, those are very large stones. And they're about an inch, almost an inch. Yeah, inch, inch. So there's that. Really cool. $5. And this is my last pair. These, might, I'm guessing, are dyed halite and halite. Um, they're not sterling. And they're very clean. They're really pretty. Nice southwestern appeal to them. The size is two inches by about an inch and a half on each. So they, they're, they're kind of, I would call them statement pieces. So not demure by any means. So anyway, that's my offerings for today. So if you see anything here that appeals to you, um, just email me, jandapanda at comcast.net with a screen, the date of the video, screenshot, timestamp, your email info for PayPal. Shipping starts at $5 and usually hangs around there for quite some time. It doesn't really move that much until you get up to, you know, larger weights of things. And we've got the kitty cat. Go back and look at the kitty cats and the McCoy pictures and the radio and uh, I think, where's the little, oh, and the little tin types. Or I call them tin types, but these are type sets with, um, they're kind of a relief. And I believe they're both, I know this one's a phone. This one I think is a phone because I saw a handset there. So a telephone from once upon a time on these old typesets. So yeah, Jeanette, jandapanda at comcast.net. And yeah, screenshot timestamp, date of the video, and we are good to go. As soon as I get paid, I ship within 24 hours. So, you know, Sunday doesn't count, sorry, or holidays, legal holidays, but I do my best. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Enjoy your evening and happy Halloween.